Hi, my name is Dennis, and this is going to be a short introduction on how to set up aliases on the Windows command line. The keyword to use is dustkey, so dustkey, and I'm can now specify my alias. I'm just going to use test for this, and the command I want to alias is the dir command. So hitting enter, from now on, on I can write test and it just execute the dir command for me. This is probably not the most common use case, so let's do something more useful. Let's uh, make an alias for a specific folder on my computer. So I'm gonna write dustkey again, and this time I'm gonna call it ms. It's gonna be an alias for a folder called more stuff. And now I have to specify where the folder is located. So I'm just gonna put in the path here, I am using the um, the tab to get auto completion on the folders. So there was my stuff folder, and inside the stuff folder, there's a more stuff folder. So that should be the absolute path. I'm hitting enter, and I should now be able to switch directly into my more stuff folder. So I write ms enter, and as you can see, I'm directly into the directory. Quite useful. I think. So the problem with this is if I close my command prompt and open a new one, I'm just going to try again, ms, it doesn't work and neither does the other alias we set up. So it doesn't save the aliases that I set up. So a way to fix this is to make a uh, bat file. You can place this bat file anywhere you want. I'm just going to place my in my uh, user folder. And you can call it what you like. I'm calling my dust key and it's a bat file. So this bat file, I'm creating this because I want the command line to execute this bat file just as soon as it runs. So I'm just going to put in the same command or the same alias I wrote before. Cheat a little bit and just copy the path so I don't have to write it. So cd and the full absolute path. I'm saving this file and now I have to set up my command line so I am able to run this bad file as soon as my command file runs. So I'm going to do a desktop, a shortcut, uh, place it on the desktop. I'm just going to give it a, a another name just so I can find it again. So easy alias, I'm going to call it. It doesn't matter really. Right click this one, go to properties. And in the target, you are able to specify slash, dot, uh, slash k. And after that, you can specify the absolute path to your to uh, this dot key bat file that I've created. So I'm just going to write that. So slash k, and then the absolute path to the, the, the bat file you want to run. I click apply. OK. Open this up again. And I'm going to write ms. And it takes me directly into the more stuff folder. Great. So this is basically it. A couple of trips, um, tips and tricks was what I uh, wanted to say is that if you have problem running the dust key command, you might try to run this as an uh, administrator. So go to properties, find the shortcut tab and click the advanced. And if you click this run as administrator, it should fix your problems. Um, another little tip is that Let's say you have your folder on another um, drive on your computer. So if we say, uh, so ms, it works. Let me switch to the e folder, LIE drive I have, and try it again. So ms, so now it doesn't work. A way to fix this is to go to your uh, bat file and just after cd slash d, save the file again, close this and open again, and we say ms. It works there. Switch to the E drive, MS again, and now it works. It's able to switch the drive and go directly into the folder that we want. Quite useful again. Yeah. So um, a couple of more tricks you can put if you don't want to don't want to list out all the aliases that you set up. You can uh, go to the top of the file, write echo of. That should remove that. And while we're in here, let's also make it so like when we start this, it usually starts at this uh, in this uh, directory. So in the system 32 drive, let's fix that also. 
we can simply put in um, um, a command, uh, a command, yeah, simple command saying we want a CD to a specific folder like that. So this should make um, make it work. So every time we launch this, it takes us to the user folder and it hides all the aliases that we set up. We can set up some more aliases. Let's do one for dot. So we're going to alias dot with cd dot dot. So if I want to go one uh, uh, directory up, I can just write dot. And if I write dot dot, I can take it one step further and go two levels up. And if you want to go all the way, you might want to launch Chrome or any other program from your command line. You can write, uh, do uh, uh, alias for that. This is the path to Chrome and I'm just going to call it CHR. So open this one again. I'm in Fathead. I can do MS to more stuff. I can do dot dot to go up two levels and I can launch Chrome directly from there. Yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions or maybe a better solution, write it in the comment, please. You are welcome to add me to Twitter. This is the, the Twitter handle. Yeah, I think that's it.